Yesterday I built the sawbuck and I filmed myself doing it. But before I show the film, I wanted to explain a little bit of how the different parts come together. So as you watch me do it, you can understand what I'm doing. So you start out by building two axes out of logs. So I've got this one, this side and this side here for one X, and then I've got another one on the other side. And it's it's in these two crotches of these two pieces of wood that you, you put the logs. And then at the base of the X I have a board that goes across this way that is bolted in that holds the X in a specific angle. So I have one of those on each side to hold the two X's in place. And then I have three cross members. One here on this side that, that's on the inside of the of the X, and then two here on the outside. And the reason for the one on the inside and in the middle is I, when I'm sawing I come in from this side and so my foot's not hitting it, my knees aren't hitting it. It kind of stays out of the way a little bit more. And But the two on this side give it more support. So that's the reason there's two here and there's one here and they're on the outside of this one and on the inside of this one. So it just kind of I just wanted to explain how that works and why I did it the way it did. So, but as you can see from the what's behind me and around me, I mean I've got a lot of wood to do this year. We've got a uh, wood burning insert in our fireplace at the cabin, and I'll probably go through six or eight cords of wood this year. So I've got a lot of wood to cut, and I need a good strong sawbuck. And I did this one using only about nine bucks worth of hardware and then just natural materials, you know, wood that I cut up in the forest, and then I just, you know, made my own boards out of that. So, you know, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, good luck if you give it a try. Okay, this is my first quart of wood that I picked up, uh, that I harvested up in the mountains. It's a uh, pine that uh, the, the Forest Service went in and, and thinned out a bunch of trees so this was actually laying on the ground but it was still had the branches on it. So I went and cleaned out the, off the branches and carred it home. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick out a few poles to use for the crossbuck. Okay so I've selected two basically eight foot poles and I'm going to cut four four foot lengths out of these things to use as my my, my cross pieces for my cross butt. So we'll start with that and then we're going to notch them out. So I cut my four poles in four foot lengths and now I've marked a section from the bottom 32 inches up to 36 inches that I'm going to notch out for where the two are going to be bolted together. So we'll have two sets of basically X's when I get done. I've notched all four posts and so now I'm going to put the two X's together and drill a hole through and put a, a large carriage bolt through each one. Now I've got my two X's done for my sawbuck. Now I got to work on the cross members.
And there we go. We've got actually, we created some lumber for ourselves to finish our cross buck. And I've cut a couple of cross pieces that, that are going to go in between these to hold these into place. And then I've got my longer pieces that of the wood I split that are going to be my length of, of the cross buck. But the first thing I need to do is get these two pieces in place to, to set my angle for my cross buck. The way I'm going to do that to give myself a surface is I'm going to carve out, I've marked a, a place here where I'm going to cut it out with a chainsaw, and I've marked a place over on this side that I marked with a chainsaw so that, you know, so because these are offset, so they're not going to be even. So I'm going to have to go in between. And you know, one's going to be on the outside and one's going to be on the inside. One side of this of this cross piece is going to be on either side of these, these two pieces. So that's what I'm going to do next. Cut a flat spot here on this side and over here on this side, and then I've taken this piece of timber and I've notched it on one side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt this on one side here and then the other side here, and that will me, give me my cross member, and I'm going to do that on each of them. This long bit. That will give me my pilot hole. Here's my driver on my drill and I take this put this lag bolt in here flip it over and do the other side we want to make sure our angle's about the same, so we're just going to drop this one down and check the width of the spread of the back legs, and that'll let us know if we're in the ballpark or not. This one needs to come out a little more. That'll, so that'll about do. Another one of these five inch lag bolts and so now I gotta set the width of my saw buck and I want my I want mine to be about 24 inches in the in, in the interior measurements. I'm mounting this bottom brace on here. Get this guy. I've tipped this on its side and now I'm putting a support on the opposite side of the X from the first support. So I ended up putting this up on the trailer just to make sure I was level. And I drilled this last cross member in. So I'm gonna set it.
Shadow Cross Buck. One thing left to do is just going to clean this up by chopping off these ends.